Good evening and welcome on this wonderful day, not just because the sun has been out, not just because it's a bank holiday, but most significantly because we present, we uh, celebrate uh, the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We come on this day to be united in prayer for the last day of May. As you'll know, if you're a regular part of, of this, or indeed from other sources, Pope Francis had asked that each day there would be a worldwide prayer for a particular intention, and those different basilicas around the world have been the focal point. Tonight, it concludes by returning to the Holy Father in the Vatican Gardens. I hope, Holy Father, if you're watching, that you have weather like ours, and he will be leading uh, this evening's prayer, praying particularly for the intention of an end to the pandemic. A number of prayer requests that have come in today suggest that this time of prayer is as needed as ever. So we come to bring uh, those uh, intentions uh, to the Lord. We come to pray that we will each know that great uh, comfort and strength that Mary knew that the Lord was with her. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Hail, Queen of the heavens, hail, Mistress of earth, hail, Virgin most pure of immaculate birth, clear star of the morning in beauty enshrined, O Lady, make speed, speed to the help of mankind. Thee God in the depth of eternity chose and formed thee all fair as his glorious spouse and called thee his words, true mother to be, by whom he created the earth, sky and sea. Hail Mother most pure, hail Virgin renowned, hail Queen with the stars as a diadem crowned. Above all the angels in glory untold, sat next to the King in a vesture of gold. These praises and prayers we lay at thy feet, O Virgin, O Virgin, O Mary most sweet. Be thou our true guide through this pilgrimage here, and stand by our side when our death draweth near. Mary entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact, it is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. 
For the peace of Jerusalem, pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary entered the house of Zachary and greeted Elizabeth. When I heard your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labour. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing from the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. O the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When I heard your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. You are the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Wrap yourselves in humility to be servants of each other, because God refused the proud and will always favour the humble. Bow down then before the power of God now, and he will raise you up on the appointed day. Unload all your worries onto him, since he is looking after you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. You are the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. All generations will call me blessed, because God has had regard for his servant in her lowliness. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, 
the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All generations will call me blessed, because God has had regard for his servant in her lowliness. Let us praise God the Father, who chose Mary as the mother of his son, and wanted all generations to call her blessed. With confidence we pray. Through the prayers of Mary, our mother, heal the sick, comfort the sorrowful, pardon sinners, grant peace and salvation to all. May the church be united, heart and soul, held fast by love, and may your faithful be joined in continuous prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Father, you have looked on the Virgin Mary and made her the mother of mercy. May those who are in danger experience the depth of her love. You called Mary to be the mother in the house of Jesus and Joseph, through her prayers, help all mothers to make their homes places of love and holiness. Father, you have exalted the Virgin Mary and crowned her Queen of Heaven. May the dead enter your kingdom and rejoice with your saints forever. At the beginning, the Holy Father's intention, which invites brothers and sisters around the world to pray this day, is for an end to the pandemic and the resumption of our social and economic life. I was going to say that that's a, that's a topical uh, intention, given the news today, but of course that would be to take a very narrow view of how it's affecting us in our community, in our country as we do join with our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for an end to the pandemic in all its manifestations and challenges. Yasmin asks a prayer of thanksgiving and gratitude to our Blessed Virgin Mary on this her special feast day for her continual intercession for her children. And she asks in particular, we join her in praying for return to health for Father Thomas. Anna asks us that we might pray for young Leo, aged eight in hospital with a brain hemorrhage, which turns out to be caused by a brain tumour, currently in an induced coma while decisions are made for his treatment. He asks that we pray especially too for his parents and for his younger brother. Geraldine asks us to pray for the repose of the soul of Andrea, whose anniversary was yesterday, and for all those who miss her dearly, especially her husband, her two children, and her mother, Nancy. Susan asks that we light a candle this evening for the success of her husband David's knee operation tomorrow, that he will know that the Lord is with him. And what made me mention the different circumstances around the world is that Kath asks a blessing on the first communion candidates of St. Patrick's in Pakenham and St. Michael's Berwick Australia, whose first communions were cancelled this weekend due to lockdown restrictions. We were blessed that our first communions were able to go ahead. We pray for the 94 children who made their first communion this weekend, that it may truly be the first of their celebrations of communion.
We pray too for Isaac and Annabel Searle, who were baptized yesterday. And for Isabella and Josephine, who were received into the church. On this day, we remember Deacon David Boyd. I remember Deacon David Well. We served together in Chichester. A wonderful man uh, of faith uh, and of great devotion to his ministry. His anniversary falls today. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, you inspired the Blessed Virgin Mary when she was carrying your son to visit Elizabeth. Grant that always docile to the voice of the Spirit, we may, together with Our Lady, glorify your name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for being part of this ministry this evening, uh, our support of those who so clearly need uh, to know our prayer. And thank you to Mike too uh, for making it possible for us to, to be here for, for the texts. Uh, and for the music. However you spend it, I hope you have a blessed uh, and holy evening. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita duce du, espes nostra salve. A te carmanus, exules filii eve. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fruntum ventris tui, nobis, Post hoc exilium ostende, O clemens, O pia, O ducis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.